All right, welcome back to Adobe Dreamverse CC. This is where we left off uh, before. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to actually add a background image and the logo in this uh, tutorial. So uh, right now, as you can see, all we added was the uh, CSS style sheet. We created it and we added a body selector, which had a property of just, if I click on the show set, just pretty much just background color. So uh, let's uncheck that and go to the background attribute. And what I can do instead of this color is I can click on the trash can if I don't want that. Instead, I want a background image. So I can go to the background image right here. And down here, you can select URL path uh, and click on this folder. I'm going to browse out to this image here of this uh, image for my background. And there it is. Now, there's some other uh, values that you can modify in here in the properties. Uh, for example, the position, the size, uh, which you can have set to auto. You can set to cover, for example. So it covers the entire image here, as you can see. Um, I could then, uh, you know, adjust some other values. Let's take a look at this. If I uh, save this file by going to uh, File, Save All, and then uh, basically going um, File, preview in browser, or sorry, real-time preview in the Google Chrome, clicking on that, and I already did that on the other side here. So if I hit refresh, uh, this is what it looks like, basically, is a background here. All right, so I got a background that covers the whole area here. And if I scale it down, you can see it scales appropriately, which is kind of nice. Sort of covers everything along here. So it literally covers the whole thing. Now what we want to do is add the logo. Now notice the logo is would be right here where this uh, text is. And then below that is the nav. And that's all contained inside the header tag. So if I move this code up a little bit, I just want you to see this, that the header has both the nav and the logo in here. So what I can use is the header to center and align everything correctly. But first, let's go ahead and replace this uh, this code, this H3 tag here of logo here with an actual image. So I'm going to select this and then just delete it. And then I'm going to go to the insert panel and go down to image and under HTML and click on image. And then I'm going to navigate to the images folder and basically I'm going to choose this logo here and click OK. And there it is. Now I can adjust the size of this um, by uh, giving it a class. So if I select it, uh, we move this over a little bit. Let's see here. Get in between here. Kind of sometimes a little hard to adjust these little widgets here. There we go. Move that over. You can see how large the image is. If I click on the little plus symbol here, I can give it a class, and I'm going to give it a class of logo. So, or I could call it my logo. Uh, and I would add the dot my logo, and then hit enter. And it's going to ask, where do you want this class to be associated with? And I'm going to choose the uh, styles that I created and just hit Enter. Now let's go to the CSS Designer again. Roll this out a little bit. And then uh, here it is. As a selector, I can choose that. And I can adjust things like maybe the width and height of this uh, background or in the layout here. Um, right now, the width is set to auto. Maybe I could give it as under pixels, uh, maybe like 300 and uh, I don't know 50 pixels. That seems a little more appropriate for the size. And you'll notice that the 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 height is adjusted automatically. It's set to auto, and that's fine. So we can just hit enter, and that's good. So that's a, a good size for this. Um, now what I want to do now is center both this and this together. And I can do that through, again, uh, the header tag. So I'm going to select the header. Sometimes it's a little tricky because there's just I'm running out of real estate here. But I'm going to scroll through here. Here's the header tag. And you can see it's containing all that information here. And I'm going to add that as a selector by clicking this little plus icon. Now it's going to give me that the headers contain the body, but I don't want to add the body. So I'm just going to delete that and just leave the header there and then just hit enter and there's header. Now in the header, I'm going to select layout and uh, under um, margin, I'm going to lock right here. Click on this little lock and set everything to zero. If 
for uh, zero pixels and right there and that will be set for all margins all the way around then if I go to the text attribute it seems strange to do text but if I go text align and choose center you'll notice everything is now centered and then click out so there we have a much better much more interesting design let's go ahead and go file save all and then again I can do that uh, real-time preview again move this over and then just refresh here and what a difference that makes so I got my logo centered there I've got um, you know a background image that looks pretty cool we're definitely starting to get to styling so uh, in the next tutorial will probably uh, continue with styling some of this text and content until next time see you soon Adobe Dreamweaver CC